Hi, I'm Julia. Uh, NaNoWriMo is coming up, National Novel Writing Month, when you write a book of 50,000 words or more in 30 days in the month of November. I have done NaNoWriMo a couple of times. Uh, the first two times I did it, I won, which is uh, what it's called when you do actually finish the book in the 30 days. And I've done it once when I realized within a week that it wasn't going to work right now. And actually, I'm not going to do it at all this year because I'm starting a new job. I have uh, several markets that I'm selling ceramics at and I also need to prep for my first real Christmas season selling ceramics online. But it is still possible that uh, I'll get a bee in my bonnet and do it anyway. But I've also written and published two books with uh, regular publishing houses, two nonfiction books in Swedish. Uh, and I also make a living writing. I'm a journalist, so I wanted to give my tips on both NaNoWriMo and uh, writing in general. And most of this stuff uh, is the same no matter what you're writing. NaNoWriMo is special because you have that very specific time frame and you have a very, very specific amount of words to aim for. When you're writing a, a journalist piece, uh, you usually also have a deadline and a set number of uh, words, but not as many words. One thing that I think is very good about NaNoWriMo that everyone can take with them is that it's also about just getting the words out there. Um, they, I think they use the phrase that you should put your inner editor uh, in jail, and I think that has to do with my first sort of tip or philosophy that written is always better than unwritten. You can't get a book out if you're waiting for the right time, for inspiration. It is very rare that you're gonna find the perfect circumstances, that you're gonna have a lot of free time, that you're gonna have tons of inspiration, that everything is just gonna flow. But also, if you're waiting for the perfect time, the perfect idea, everything, you're probably not gonna have the practice to be able to write a good book or even write at all. So regardless of what you think about your idea, about your writing skills, the only way you're gonna get better is by practicing and the only way a book is gonna get written is by writing it. But in seat time. My second thing is that any way that works for you is a good way. Some people talk about, you know, you have to write every day and that may not be true for everyone. It might not be possible, but it also just might not be how you work. Obviously, if you're doing NaNoWriMo, you probably are gonna wanna write every day because it can get really hard to catch up really quickly. Uh, but in general, Maybe you are a uh, first thing in the morning before going to work or to school writer. Maybe you're a nighttime writer. Maybe you're a I'll write a little bit in my phone every now and then during the day kind of writer. Uh, the same goes for if you use any particular programs. I really like Scrivener, um, but it doesn't work for everyone. Uh, maybe you want to write out your plot on a piece of paper first, maybe you want to use post-its, maybe you want to dictate. And it kind of goes with the first, is that written is better than not written. Uh, and any way that gets it out of you is good. But don't get stuck in the way that you think works for you. You can try other ways of, of doing it. Try the way that uh, you think sounds the worst and see if maybe you'll find something there or if it turns out that you knew yourself better all along. And kind of following from that is find and use other people. It can be your partner or a family member or a friend or a writing group online. NaNoWriMo has forums where you can get inspiration or ask questions. Um, most people don't write best in a vacuum. Uh, you, you get blind to your own writing, to your own tics, you get stuck, you don't see the most obvious solution to uh, a problem, you lose words, you know, there are tons of problems that can be helped by just having a sounding board. And you know yourself best, but sometimes you don't know yourself as well as you think you do. And my final and very practical tip is uh, writing bursts. In NaNoWriMo terms, it's often called a sprint, like people will arrange them on Twitter. They'll say, you know, you have from this time to that time to produce as many words as possible. I have written both uh, NaNoWriMo stuff and other stuff using, you know, sometimes they're called Pomodoros or 2010s, but basically what I do is I set a timer either on my computer or on my phone for 20 minutes. I personally like to put on um, noise cancelling headphones and then I play some like lyricless uh, simple music, I like Soma FM is a really good source for, uh, they even have like music for programming, they have space uh, themed music, it's a really good uh, resource, it's free. Um, 
and then I just write. And, like I have to keep writing for those 20 minutes. And with NaNoWriMo it's super simple because it doesn't matter what comes out. You can lose your track entirely, you just have to produce the words. But even with other writing, if you know they have to keep writing, you sort of lose that, um, well, that threshold or that, you know, it's easy, it's easy to sort of freeze up and, and get nervous and self-conscious about what you're writing. But if you just start, it, it starts to come out and you may need to do a lot of editing, you may throw most of it away, but you get into the practice of writing and you start getting what you're thinking out of your system. And no matter what, when the alarm goes off, you will have more written than you had before, regardless of the quality. 20 minutes is a good time because you can get quite a bit done in that time, um, but it's not long enough that you'll get bored or frustrated or tired, and it doesn't seem impossible to sit for that time. Uh, then I recommend, and most systems like this recommend taking a break, like actually getting up, moving, or just doing something else. I will sometimes use a reward system, like, you know, I'll write for 20 minutes and then I can have, I don't know, four peanut M&Ms or something, and then I'll keep going, or I can watch one YouTube video. But just getting it out uh, is is the main thing. The really cool thing about NaNoWriMo is it lets you practice, it lets you discover how to tell a story, how to finish a story, and it is a really cool feeling to be like, I've finished this, I can write a story. It might be bad, it might just be, you know, something you throw away right away, but you'll have done it. And even if you don't, you will probably have written, you know, several thousand more words than you would have otherwise. So if you don't make it, you should still be proud of yourself, you should be happy that you did something. Uh, and if you do make it, uh, congratulations. A little bonus tip about writing in general is, I think, uh, to read a lot. And this is in no way uh, a new thing. Most people will tell you that it's really hard to become a good writer without reading. Some people will not read as much while they're writing, especially in their own genre, because they feel like they get affected by it. But it is really good to just take in different kinds of language, different kinds of voices, uh, different kinds of storytelling, and different kinds of stories. Um, but I may also be biased because I love reading and I love experiencing other people's writing. Actually, my main tip is probably tea. Lots and lots of tea. I, I drink ridiculous amounts of tea in general, but when I'm writing it's probably even worse. And I think it's kind of like sort of like with the headphones that I create the space that lets my brain know that it's time to write. Sometimes I feel like I almost can't even write without tea, which I'm sure is very, very bad and I'm, I'm gonna ruin my productivity if I wind up somewhere where I can't get hot water. But it's also just routines are good. Maybe you wear a special writing hat or slippers or something like that, or you sit somewhere else only when you're writing than when you do everything else. So it all comes back to do what works for you. Don't be afraid to experiment and try different weird things. I was gonna say have fun, but it's not always fun. Uh, NaNoWriMo isn't always fun. Other kinds of writing aren't always fun. Writers are, are very different. Some people hate writing, but they have to do it anyway, either to make a living or just it's just because it's an urge. Uh, some people love writing. It just spills out of them. If If not have fun, then I don't know. You do you, I guess. If you have any questions about writing in general, about my writing process or anything else, uh, or your own suggestions, put them in the comments uh, below. I'll link to some other fun uh, NaNoWriMo videos. At least once per NaNoWriMo season, I always watch Christina Horner's uh, NaNoWriMo song video, so I'll definitely link that, link some other good resources. Um, subscribe, click, all that stuff. Um, be good to yourself, drink some water, drink some tea, take a nap, and I'll see you later. Bye!